I mean, first off, Bill, how are preparations going um, for the Partick game tomorrow night? Not really good. Um, the boys need lifted on uh, Monday, and that's exactly what it did. They've been great with the two training sessions we've had. We've worked on how we're going to go against Partick, and again, um, once they got the initial maybe first 20 minutes of the warm up done, they were gone and they were at it, and uh, we move on, and it was it was disappointing the result. We can't hide from that. Um, it's been the, the first kind of run where we've been asked questions and it's not been the right results that I've wanted since I've come to the club way back in April. But we drive on and I'm so positive going forward because I just want to, I want to turn it as quick as possible, get the confidence back and get a run going because we've got good players and we're, we're capable, we really are. And uh, I got a good response for the boys which was very pleasing. Uh, there's obviously been cases, you know, this year where you've been, you know, slightly unlucky. Do you think it's just a case of just nicking a win somewhere to boost that confidence? Again? I do because we weren't lucky against Morton. Um, that was probably our poorest performance. That was a disappointing thing because it was such a, a a big chance again to close the gap. Um, so that's why it was a disappointment. It wasn't a great performance, but the boys know that and they've taken on the chin. They've been told that and they've responded. So. Um, we're looking to take exactly what they've been showing me on the on the training ground into the game tomorrow night. And in terms of you know obviously you were saying there you know obviously recent results have affected uh, the confidence. Are you, are you quite confident now that you're seeing what you're seeing on training? But players got over it. Yeah, they're, they're down. And I mean, it was it, I was down at the weekend, but you've got to pick yourself up and go again. And that's what we've got in this squad. Do you, do you want to feel sorry for yourself? No chance. Because um, we're still in there. We're still in there pitching. And if you just let it get to you and you come in and it's doom and gloom, then your results are not going to improve. The, you have to keep the mood up. And you do look for things like that once the training sessions have been going on. And I thought they'd been great. I, I, I had a wee look to start with to see how they would handle it. But they, were, they have been brilliant the two days. Really good. And um, they're focused. Obviously, last time Bartik came up here, you know, it's 3-1 to yourselves. Can you take confidence in that? Can the players take confidence in that? Yeah, especially the second half, and we've spoken about that many occasions when I've been on here. But I think the 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 game down there, I think we've got to look at that. We need that sort of performance again. We need that, and um, that's what we'll be striving for. But I can see a, a steely, gritty determination about them. Um, obviously, part of themselves, you know, very close on the table. It's you know quite a big match. You'll be just the. The nature of how big the match is will help kind of spur your players. I think you look at everything when you've not been getting the results that you've been wanting. You're looking for an edge somewhere, and um, well, you're kind of realising you're mentioning it. We need the party, as you said, the 45, and you need the party down there. That's been that's been our best performance, or one of the best performances. Even though we never get the result we deserved in that one, I think that sort of performance uh, will get us winning games again. Obviously, Bartik, I mean, there's a few players you'll know yourself from your uh, time at Ross County as well. What are you kind of expecting from them? You know, the likes of Brian Gray and, uh, Brian Gray and uh, you know, Ricky Foster. I think they've got a bit of confidence about them. They've not, they've not played since the United game that week there, but it was uh, they've had a couple of cancellations, so they've not had too much football. But they've got games in hand, but we saw how hard and difficult last season it was to just keep churning out results, and we got them going. Um, and we got good results, but it's very difficult to continue that if you get midweek game Saturday, midweek game Saturday. Um, but Partick are definitely coming into this game with a bit of confidence after their one 0 win against there. So again, like always, we have to we have to be better than what we were Saturday. But I know we're, we're capable, and I know we will if we have that steel and determined uh, mindset. You go in, you, you bang some heads, or do you just leave them through and say, listen? Talk amongst yourselves and sort out, or do you need to get through them all? No, no, you're selective. You're selective because you know there's a few boys who can take it in the chin. There's a few boys who, if you you know snap too much, they'll kind of maybe sink a little bit more. But I've got good. I got a good group as a whole where they've obviously the wee think, and then as I said to you Monday was a, one of those mornings where you say, okay, we'll have a wee look, see how they are. But you can see they were quiet and then we get writing about them, got them going in training, and got the message across what's required going forward. And the next minute they're, they're over it and they're flying, but they have to take that into tomorrow night, as I'm saying. They can't say, okay, Monday was good, and we got a good training session. Yes, uh, t today was 
really what we're working on to take into the game. And I thought the mindset was brilliant, but they have to go and show me now. I know we've talked about yeah, I agree with you. I think it's still a way result. I've no result performance is our best of the season, even though we didn't get the result, is it? I'm not sure it's to make it easier, but you expect us to come up and try and play. Does that make it easier for us to try and capitalise on that? Um, no, because they're a good team. They, they will try and play, but that's how they've been winning games. We can't look about what they're doing, it's about what we do, how we respond. If we look at this and think, oh, they're not bad and they play and you know they've got a certain style, then worry more about them, no chance. It's about what we do and how we respond to it. And um, I believe my boys are ready. I've had the right words at the right times with them. And I'm getting that good response, which is which is pleasing, but they've still got to take into the game. And um, I'm not trying to pick a team, Billy, but are you expecting any changes for Saturday? Have you food for thought, seeing the boys are training this week? They'll, they'll, yeah, they'll be, uh, you can't go wholesale. I won't be panicking and going wholesale. We've got a, a, a small group, but a good group, so... Um, there might be a couple of changes, one or two. And any update on the boys that are injured? I mean, I know Danny's a bit away, but Aaron's still a bit away yet. This game's coming too quick for those two. Um, so th- there's, it's a pity. I thought they would maybe be there, but they've no trained for a while now. So are they going to get have the right fitness levels in them? So we've got maybe in a few days, get them fit, and then we've got. A, t- a term or a, a, a time period after that where we can work on them to get them up to speed. Right, good luck for you.